In this video, I'm gonna make a brief introduction to a new feature that will be added to DeepTrace in its version 4, which is a built-in proton generator. It will surely become an important time saver, helping you create new footprints with 3D models up to IPC standards in no time. So let's see how it works. In Proton Editor, I'm gonna create a new library, call it ada 643 ep I'll leave the default library group, user Protons. On Proton Properties panel, in Style drop-down, I select IPC7351 and Proton Generator button appears. Press it to launch Proton Generator. Select whether you'll create a package for a surface mount or a through-hole device. Proceed by choosing the required family from the list. Now it's time to consult a datasheet to enter all the required package dimensions in the Drawing Data tab. The values in the red cells are obligatory and are used by the software to calculate values for the remaining cells. However, the calculations can be done in reverse order too, meaning that you can enter data in non-obligatory gray cells to get values for the required cells. So no matter what data is available in the datasheet, we will always be able to generate a package. Basically, you can finish here. Just press Recalculate button and then OK. And get your footprint with all other parameters set by default. Or continue and adjust them according to your needs. Note that the software remembers the settings used for the previous similar package so it's always a good idea to revise them or reset default values. I'm gonna use default, but let's briefly go through the options DeepTrace offers. Moving to the following tabs, you can choose the board density level. Also, you can always return to default values by pressing Set values by default button. In the Component Options tab, you can adjust a number of parameters. From the orientation of pin 1, and protein origin to the settings for the silk screen and assembly layer, as well as for the footprint courtyard, outline, and fiducial if applicable. In the terminal options section, you can define all the parameters of the pads, their shape, solder mask and paste settings, display mode in the assembly layer, and the outline. Next, you can set design rules, entering clearance values for the footprint elements. Finally, you can adjust parameters for 3D model generation. As for the dimensions of the pads, you can use values calculated by the software algorithm or enter the ones recommended by the device manufacturer. A protein can be called using standard nomenclature or be given a customized name. Here you can choose a manufacturer from the default list or create a new one. Next, you can choose to add to pertinent properties, name description, unique name and manufacturer. This information will be available from Proton Properties panel. If you take 3D model height, the value A maximum from the Drawing Data tab will be automatically added to 3D model dialog for the By Component Outline option. This item will be handy in cases when there is no suitable model in the generator and you go for the option to create a 3D model by the component outline. Tick Add all density levels to the library to generate two more patterns for layouts with different density characteristics. If any changes have been made, press Recalculate button to apply them and be able to generate a package. Now click OK. The footprint and a 3D model have been created. Press 3D Model button on Pertin Properties panel to view the model.